I'm Heather Arnold from Webster City. I've been asked by Channel to discuss the transition of the regional brands into the Channel lineup. For me, this just has made perfect sense. For 13 years, I have worked with my girls. The previous brand I had been with, I struggled every year trying to come up with a handful of hybrids that I felt confident enough in the offering. This is the reason three years ago, I decided to join the Kruger team. The reason for joining the Kruger team was I knew that they were focused heavily on our Iowa soils. They offered the best traits available and new genetics. This was an excellent move for myself and for my growers. But like every company, there was definitely some holes that needed to be filled. By merging the brands together, these gaps have definitely been filled. When a grower comes and asks us for a specific maturity now, I'm definitely able to offer them exactly what they want instead of asking them to just settle for what's available. I know this is extremely important to the channel team and to myself. Another thing that we had lacked with being a regional brand was agronomy support. We had an excellent agronomist, just he's trying to cover the whole state of Iowa. Now being with channel, we have so many professionals to call on. Um, my agronomist is now able to be here within a half hour to an hour for me, or if he's not available, there's just so many more professionals that reach out to. Such a great team of seed pros that any question arises, I'm definitely in line to call on. But I've been asked to talk about what I do locally to stay connected to my growers. I guess a big thing to me is scouting. I wanna stay ahead of any issue that arises early. Um, whether it's early deficiencies in our field, whether it's disease that is setting in early, um, a pest that's on the rise. I just want to make sure that my customers are aware of exactly what is happening in their fields. Um, we start with early tissue sampling, to root digs, to studying sticky traps, um, just ongoing season long support. I want my customers to be prepared when harvest comes, what exactly they expect in their fields or if there's anything that we can do to prevent any issues at the time. Um, it's just good to, to have a good feel on everything. Um, another thing that I'm probably known for is I tend to be a plot queen. I strive to have eight to 10 plots across different growers, but we farm ourselves. So every field we have, as much as my husband loves it, ends up being one big plot of its own. Um, also, if you want to test a marriage, Mention to your husband that you have 96 entry plot to put in. I don't recommend it. But all seriousness out of that. By doing all these plots, it gives us a good feel for how this, our different hybrids can handle different conditions, um, different soil types, different weather events we have. Um, it's just extremely important to me to make sure we have a wide variety of looks out for our growers at the end of the season to, to be able to pick hybrids from. Another thing that I try to make sure that I do for my growers is keep ahead of anything new in the industry, whether it's technology, whether it's crop protection, any new biologicals, anything that can help my growers and their operations. I wanna make sure that it comes from us or that we're able to offer it to them first as far as getting speakers in or helping them with any guidance that they're looking for. Um, so we strive every year to make sure that we're on top of things and we're keeping everybody aware of what's new in the industry. Gearing up for fall too, I always make sure that we have every hybrid here in the shed for growers to look at. Prior to harvest, um, we have a big open house. We have the hybrids lined up across the, the inside of the building. Um, growers are able to actually look at the roots, look at the stalks, get a hard look at the ears, the height, um, any questions they have, they're able to take a hard look at that hybrid and, and help them keep an eye on too when they're hitting the fields. If that's a hybrid they have, um, is, is this how ours looks or what's different that we need to take a look at? A last thing that I like to do for my growers is, um, is I take home cooked meals around in the fall. I think it's important to let my know, growers know how much I appreciate them, how much I appreciate their business, how much I appreciate the relationship that we have built. So I always make sure that each and every one of them um, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's 16, depending on the, the grower size. I make sure to bring a home-cooked meal in the, to the combine. Mm -hmm.